Hello YouTube, this is the ninth video in our JavaScript advanced tutorial series. <coughs> in this video, we're going to be working with the date object, as you can see here. Um, I have all the methods of the date object that it has available up on the screen. Um, mainly what we're going to be using are get, date, through time, as well as um, set, date, through time. So. Basically, the date object just has year, month, day, hour, second, minute, sorry, minute, second. Um, and we can get those current value, well, our current date is equal to new date. By doing this, we can get the current date. or we can just get part of it. Or another part. We can also set there uh, to 12 that's in that's from 1 to 24 so it's gonna say it's 1256 which is not um, yeah so let's see we can get the we can make a timer kind of thing using this so we can, let's use our timer stuff we used in the last tutorial, or, yeah, the last tutorial. Um, we'll call timer, and we'll create a timer function here. And inside of it, we will say error date is equal to new date. And we will document dot write we'll say hours is equal to um let's see per day dot get hours set uh, minutes is equal to equal to cur date dot get mins and we need our parentheses here and sex sex make sure those are all defined cur date dot get seconds plus colon plus sex now if I save that and load it sorry I have to this doesn't actually use set interval so I have to do that or set timer time out time out function every second um, and then at the end of this we want to call timer again so that should work okay we have to let's just Actually, I think we're going to need to use uh, inner HTML document.get element 
by ID dot HTML is equal to that and we'll make it div ID is equal to clock clock and that should do the trick um, we can add we can prepend zeros to those values if they're not uh, greater than 10, but I don't really want to take the time to do that in the video. We can also take subtract 12 from that if it's less, if it's greater than 12, um, but that's kind of not a very good use of your time. So uh, that's it for this. In the next one, we'll be using the math object, which has, whoa, math object, which has a series of math functions that you can't use normally, like sine, cosine, square root, that kind of thing. Um, so we'll be doing that in the next video. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.